Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It has been so long since I've done a product review and I'm so excited to try this out because we all know Laura Mercier. That's right, Laura Mercier has come up with a new product and it is their setting spray. So this is what the box looks like, you know, just the packaging. We are going to get into the nitty gritty details and then, you know, do the usual check-in and let you guys know how I feel about throughout the day. But before we get started, of course, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've tried this new setting spray before because I'm excited and kind of curious how it is how it's going to be throughout the day. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle right there and let's get started with the video okay you guys so obviously i did my makeup and everything and later on in the video i'll put like a clip of me like trying on the setting spray and everything like that i have it on right now it's only been an hour so it's not really much for me to judge upon right now and of course i will check in with you guys how it'll look so anyways this is the packaging the laura mercy a translucent pure setting spray and this should last up to 16 hours so this is a invisible hydrating setting spray so Right off the bat, I'm just like hydrating, setting, setting spray, and 16 hours for me. I'm just like, am I going to look like an oral slick by the end of it? Am I not? I don't know. Like right now, I look pretty like glowy. I look, I look darn good right now, right? So how it's going to perform later on in the day, we shall see. On the side of the box though, it says 80% uh, say that it feels weightless, gentle, and comfortable on the skin, which it definitely did. It felt very weightless. It didn't feel like anything. 84% say it reduces the appearance of shine throughout the day, which again, for me, I'm like hydrating, but then it controls the shine. Like I feel like those two words shouldn't be in the same sentence or in the same thought bubble, but that's just me, we shall see. Um, and then another 84% say that this microfine mist does not feel tight or sticky on the skin. Now, I do have to say something about the spray though. So when I did spray on my face, the spray is horrendous, it is, is absolutely horrible. Like, I don't know about microfine mist. Like when I think of microfine mist, I think of like the Morphe like setting spray, like that continuous spray, that was microfine. This, I don't feel like it's a microfine spray. I feel like the spray nozzle could been better because I feel like it didn't really even out anything and I had to spray more just to like kind of even it out on my face so I don't know if like it's going to be too hydrating on me right now because it's a hydrating setting spray or not but again we shall see but the nozzle horrible it is clean 12 ingredient formula uh, it's a pure formula without alcohol silicone and fragrance so if anyone's looking for a clean formula or pure formula um it has no alcohol there's no silicone and there's no fragrance and it's hard to find a setting spray that has no alcohol in there because usually alcohol is not supposed to be good on the skin especially if it's like high up there on the ingredient list so the fact that there is no alcohol in here pretty impressive so this sets makeup up to 16 hours of comfortable wear for smoother looking skin and more vibrant makeup that looks freshly applied all day again we shall see. So it says to shake bottle well and hold 10 inches from the face spray skin one to three times in an oval pattern starting the outside of the face and working towards the center. Now again, because the nozzle was so bad, I did not do one to three times. I did way more. So the hydration part of it may be a little bit more than I would like it to throughout the day, but again, we shall see how it is. Hopefully it doesn't make me look too hydrated, oily and all that stuff because I am a combo skin. Um, but again, right now, I look pretty darn glowy. I look pretty good right now, but we shall see later on throughout the day. It's only been like an hour. So this retails for $49, and for $49, you do get 3.38 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters, and this is supposed to give you a more natural finish. So again, this is fragrance-free, alcohol-free, there's no silicones, and it's supposed to be long-wearing, um, lasts up to 16 hours. And then just looking at their clinical like results, you know, as some products, it says like 95% of uh, people blah 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 so 94% agree that the setting spray does not disturb or change the finish of the makeup uh, 87 agree that the setting spray feels comfortable in the skin which it does I don't really feel any different 86% uh, agree that the setting spray feels weightless on your skin so I feel that it is weightless but again the spray is not microfine in my opinion it sucks and the funny thing is that this product just came out and there's already two stars on the Sephora website there are a few reviews on here there's two pages worth and there are a lot more 
one stars than anything right now. So one of the first reviews I see on here is that it says, please avoid, this is the worst setting spray I have ever used. It splits all over my face and then gets my hands sticky with the formula. How did this launch? I completely disappointed with Laura Mercier and will stop buying her products. I was never really a big fan of the translucent powder anyways. Like when I first used it, I was just like going in with the hype, but then I've seen that it kind of made me look more dry and I didn't like that. And luckily other companies uh, released their own version of translucent powders. So it's a good thing that they did because if they didn't, I wouldn't know what to set my face with and if I did with like powder foundation or whatever, I feel it would look more cakey, which thankfully I don't because I'm using different uh, type of setting powders. Anyway, so next one is like one of the worst setting sprays I've ever tried. The spray comes out unevenly, which it does. And this part is extremely sticky, which I mean, it kind of is because like when there was a product on the top of the nozzle spray because it somehow like leaked up when you press down, my finger was a little sticky. I like Laura Mercier products, but this one was a fail. Okay, so I'm just gonna read maybe a couple more. I was excited to try this. I love Laura Mercier and the simple ingredient list for this product. But the sprayer on this bottle is absolutely terrible. Sometimes nothing comes out. Sometimes it's insanely heavy. Stream shots at your face. The liquid doesn't stay mixed even when shaken directly before spraying. To be quite honest, when I look at it, like you know when there are ingredients that need to be mixed, for example. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Spray. So when you see two ingredients like this, even when like you would think that you know, there are two ingredients in here. Even when you flip it around, the green kind of comes up and you can still see it, right? So you shake it. With the Laura Mercier one, it's all clear, okay? There's nothing there. And even when you like, even when I flip it around, there's nothing really, like I, I shook it before. So there's nothing really separating anything. Like <laughs> there, there is absolutely nothing. It just looks all clear to me. I don't think there's anything that need, needed to be mixed, but that's just me. So yes, the liquid doesn't stay mixed even when shaken directly before spray. Uh, it's hard to believe this brand put this on the mar market. This is going back. I mean, I can't disagree with that comment with the spray. The spray was horrendous. Last thing, okay, so this one here says it ruins your makeup. So it's terrible, will ruin your makeup. I was excited to try this, but the setting spray is terrible. And I mean, awful. Luckily, I only purchased the little bottle during the Rouge sale. Immediately after spraying this on and drying down my makeup and started to peel and flake off. If I had time to wash my face to do my makeup again without this, I would have because it looks that bad. I'm sitting here, I work with flaky chunks of makeup on my face and I try to gently brush them away. It only gets worse. Don't waste your money on this. If you're going to purchase something, use the Charlotte Til Tilbury setting spray. I don't even know how this product even made past the quality control department. So. It sounds like a lot of people really dislike this right now. Um, I mean, that one with the makeup thing, I can't really say because it looks pretty good right now. The nozzle, I will 100% agree with because it's flipping bad. It, it was horrible. The amount of times I have to respray my face, it, it's just horrendous. So again, I'm worried that throughout the day, I will look like an oil slick or something like around here because the amount of times I had to use this hydrating setting spray. And with my combo skin, that ain't a good thing, girl. So hopefully, maybe it'll be a miracle. Who knows, right? Um, but right now, I'm gonna go get changed and get ready. I gotta go downtown and uh, run some errands. And it's Good Friday today, so not many places are open. So I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, so I will check in later, hopefully maybe in a couple of hours or so when I'm in downtown, but uh, we shall see. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it's almost six hours um, since I first sprayed it on. It is 7.50 right now, so we're just gonna say it's been six hours. Um, taking a closer look, gonna take out my mirror. You know what, for six hours and the fact that this is a hydrating spray, it's pretty good. Like, um, despite the whole nozzle situation, like my makeup still looks pretty darn good. Like nothing has been bunching up. Nothing is like dry. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. I still look glowy. The foundation didn't budge. It didn't move. Um, it's, it hasn't been ruined or anything. Because of that previous review that I read, it said that the, it ruined their makeup. I do not see that at all. Everything still looks glowy. It still looks 
kind of weirdly mattified uh, and took out the shine because when I read hydrating spray, I would think that, you know, it hydrates you but also would give me some sort of a shine like later on in the day. But everything's been good. It's actually absorbed the shine, I suppose. Um, even around my nose right here, like it still looks darn good. Nothing's breaking. Everything's good. Still in place. So right now at the six hour mark, not that bad. It's looking pretty, pretty darn good. So the one thing we can all agree on for those of us that have used it before um, is that the nozzle is bad. It's pretty bad. And I don't know how, but you can see... I don't, I hope the camera pick it up, but it's like some wetness around here. Like I don't even know how that even happened. I'm wiping this residue in here. I don't know how this is happening, especially for Laura Mercier. For Laura Mercier, I wouldn't think that they would allow this to happen at all. Like when you spray it, the um, the product kind of like flows up and it goes up to the top here. So as I you seen before, my finger was like wet for some reason. I'm just like, okay, this is weird. I never had a sun spray that ever did that before. So, all right. So from the spray aside, the product seems to be working really, really well. I can't complain about it uh, so far, but it's only been six hours. So we'll see in the next maybe four-ish hours or so, maybe. Because it's pretty much like eight o'clock right now, I'll probably have this on maybe about another three or four hours. At most 11 uh, because I have to go to work tomorrow. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna get changed, do whatever I need to do, and I'll check in with you guys later on. All right, you guys, this is the final check-in. So it's 10.35 right now. So in another half an hour, it'll be 11 o'clock. I don't think half an hour will make much of a difference, really. Um, if it was an hour, probably 30 minutes or less than 30 minutes now. I don't think much will really change. So from the last check-in, I don't see much of a difference in all honesty. Like it, everything looks the same. Like, <laughs> I am actually really, really surprised by that. Because again, with a hydrating setting spray, I would never think that like, it would absorb shine like it says that it does and it'll like make my makeup look exactly the same, which it did. I'm just like, okay sure forehead still looks matte like there, there's literally like no shine there it's matte my t-zone no oil is peeking through um my pores still look good even like the side right here where the foundation uh is just fine uh my smile line nothing there like everything just looks like how i first applied it and i'm kind of shocked by that i didn't really expect to really like this product but i actually do despite all the reviews i actually like this product like by the ninth hour i would see like some sort of shine like you know like just a little bit more glowy or something right even during the winter time um i would still see something but I didn't see anything at all and I went downtown to Eden Center today as well and I was walking, I was hot, like this should have been something but no, everything is good, it stayed in place. I'm actually really, really surprised. The really bad con with this obviously, I and I said this from the beginning of the video, is that the spray, the nozzle itself is horrible. Like I had to spray so many times just to be sure that like it was sprayed evenly, the nozzle sucks. But the product itself, I think is actually quite good. Like those claims are true. I can't speak on the 16th hour mark because we're only about like nine hours in. Um, but even for nine hours, like this is so, so good. Like it literally looks like I just did my face. Like nothing's budge, nothing's cracked, everything is great. If anything, I think like my chin is probably just a little dry, but because of the nozzle situation, I don't think it really sprayed down there evenly. I don't know. I can't really speak on that. Like it just seems a little drier here, um, but everything else just great. Like the glow I have right here, my forehead, my T-zone, like it's all like mattified. Even the pores around here, still matte, still looking good. I can't really knock the formula itself. Like it it did what it's supposed to do. Um, it's just the spray bottle, it's just the spray, the nozzle needs to be improved. Laura Mercier, I love the product. The packaging, 
sucks. Like 100%, the nozzle sucks. Um, so I would give this like a partial approval because of the spray. The product, great, spray, not. That's, that's basically what it is. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's been so long since I have done a review. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I actually like filmed a review. Like, I've been doing like vlogs, been so busy with like wedding planning and like the vlog videos for the wedding planning. Like, there's been a lot going on. So it's nice to kind of like get back into the review beauty mode a bit. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any suggestions of any reviews you guys want to see or any type of other videos, videos you guys want to see let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do my best and do them for you um but anyways i need to take this off you guys and you're ready for bed like i said i got work tomorrow morning so i need to do that so i will see you all in the next one bye